Hello everyone, Nile Yellow here. Today I will be making copper 2 acetate. Copper 2 acetate is a copper compound that forms dark blue slash green crystals. It is also a useful oxidizing agent that you can use in some other chemical reactions. Before I start this reaction, I need to make it clear that copper compounds are dangerous if ingested or inhaled in small amounts and could be fatal if ingested in larger quantities. I am not liable for anyone harmed trying to replicate this product. Now onto the video. To start off this reaction, we first need to weigh out 10 grams of copper 2 carbonate and add that to a 500 ml beaker. This reaction foams a lot, which is why we need such a large reaction vessel. Next, you must add 300 ml of 5% acetic acid into the- Boy, that scared me okay. Just add the acid to the beaker. Wait for all of the copper carbonate to react while applying constant stirring. If some of the copper carbonate doesn't react, just add a bit more acid. You will know when all copper carbonate has reacted because there will be no solids left at the bottom of the beaker. Wait, is that piss on my lab coat? That explosion must have made me piss myself. Oh well, shit happens. Okay, now boil the liquid down until the beautiful crystals crash out. Help me. Once all of the crystals have crashed out, you need to scrape them onto a paper towel or filter paper for further drying. If you find it hard to scrape the crystals out of the beaker, you can just add a small amount of acetone. Wow, they look so cool, I can't wait to eat them. There, now you have your beautiful dry copper acetate crystals. Thanks for watching. I have lots more chemistry projects planned for the future. Please like and subscribe if you enjoyed this video. Until next time.